So what we think is uh, that the business as usual, as we say, cannot uh, be part of the, um, the agenda. And we need to address the determinants which lie outside of the, of the health sector. And we need to develop integral uh, policies within the health sector and multi-sectorials uh, within government. So we have to bring this this. Uh, this, to reflect this in policy making is, is very important because policy define values, define visions, priorities, and if we are lucky, also funding. So what we are pushing is uh, obesity uh, prevention policies that are multi-sectorial. Now, uh, I'm from the health sector, so I'm going to give you the view from what we see uh, within the health sector. So the health sector, uh, we see it, is very focused in providing services and more focused in providing clinical services aimed to the person. So they, we lose focus on what is happening around, and we are basically working with downstream interventions, which are very, very costly. We provide uh, personal health services that are uh, costly, and uh, this keeps... Uh, us busy with almost 90 or 95 percent of the budget it goes to personal services. And uh, we also have to provide non-personal services, which are basically health promotion, campaigns, health education, and those are largely under, underfunded now. However, these two have a little impact on the, on the upstream uh, uh, determinant, so, so we need to, to move forward. So let me show you the conceptual framework that we are trying to push. First, if we imagine the, the health sector, we have the personal health services uh, that are provided either at home or at a health clinic, but are aimed to the individual. These are therapeutic uh, or early, early diagnosis. And these have some effects, no? personal counseling. They have information for healthy lifestyles and prevention and early diagnosis. Then we have the non-personal health services. Here, uh, these are aimed to the population, and they are really public health goods. And here we have uh, issues about health promotion, risk protection, health regulation. Uh, we need to move forward in effective enforcement. And these are really linked to the essential public health functions that we have been losing, they are diluting somehow in the, in the, in the medical world. This is what is inside our box. This is how uh, medical people or people who are in the health sector think. Now, there is a whole world of big interventions which are outside of the health sector and whose responsibility really do not rely in, 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 the, in the Minister of Health or the health sector. However, the Minister of Health can push the agenda, so these uh, uh, other areas of the uh, government push the health, the health agenda. And here, uh, I think we meet uh, really straightforward with health in all, in all policies. Now, the champion of health in all policies has to be the health sector, but the health sector is basically on the green box focus there. So we need to bring this to, to the attention. Also. Then we have uh, the role of all the NGOs, uh, the private sector. We have good and bad private sector, as, as you will see with the examples and other organizations that work uh, together with, uh, 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 and here we are impacting more the uh, equity, we are uh, inviting an, uh, impacting an environment to have uh, social conditions for, for, for change. These are really the, we we'll say, the upstreams in interventions. And then as we saw in the clear picture by the WHO, by Margaret Chan in the previous presentation, we also have uh, the global agenda that is pushing all this is forward. So if we can put all this together, uh, we, we can really uh, build this culture of health that we've been uh, talking here. Now, just to give you some, some examples. In the um, uh, clinical area, we have these areas for intervention as are, are marked by, by WHO. And uh, here we will be working uh, to have better maternal and child service, which are responsive to the obesity epidemic. We, we can increase our BMI screening and counseling, promote breastfeeding. Uh, this is something which is in the literature, bariatric surgery or, or uh, uh, pharmacological treatment of, of obesity, which is directed aimed to the person. 
Uh, according to Steve Gormetic, these are the least cost-effective interventions, or, but uh, they are in the mind of the people in the health, in the health center. Now, in terms of the uh, non-personal services that we, we have also to provide, uh, we have the same uh, uh, guidelines, and, and then what we work with is with essential public health functions that are aimed at obesity. We have to develop with the nutrition literacy, informative labels, uh, build environment, physical activity, and obesity determinants. And these are all in, in what we, we look at the health responsibilities of the Minister of Health or the health of the health sector, per se. Now, outside uh, in the health in all policies approach, uh, what we want to build is uh, leadership in governance for this approach, which we think should come from the Ministry of Health. We have to have financing to approach these multi-sectorial uh, relations. Mandates, one of the failures of the Mexican uh, national agreement was that there was no mandate. It was a voluntary agreement. So ministers sign and then they do whatever they they could, no budget, no mandate. So it's important to have the mind this. There was not a structure for follow-up of, uh, of this agreement, a supra-cabinet uh, structure for follow-up. So it was, it was weak in a sense. So with this uh, health in all policy, we, will, we could address the social gradient. We have to see that plans against poverty and social ex exclusion really consider actions against obesity. This is the case for the crusade that Mexico started against hunger. So you see a country who has one of the highest rates uh, of obesity, but at the same time, the presidential number one priority is hunger. No? So, so how can you make a conciliation between these two policies that seem uh, opposite? Uh, and I think uh, it's now... Uh, and then the policy coherence, which is involved in health in all policies approach, well, it has to do with environment, with contention on the graded and graded programs, agriculture and food supply uh, policies, uh, availability and access to food, physical uh, activity in child care centers, schools and neighborhoods. Uh, we have programs like welfare cash transfers uh, that we are providing to low-income families, and this need to be considering obesity. And also healthy fiscal policies and market regulation that have already uh, been mentioned. So if we connect these three levels, uh, I think we, we could uh, uh, do um, a good job in terms of uh, 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 holistic uh, intervention. 